Pierce, Pierce, how much money are you worth? Not as much as you, sadly. Exactly. So take my advice. Maybe you'll get richer. I would love to take your business why advice. Why would I listen to you? You know, why would I argue with people who are getting paid by the gap? I'm sorry. You know, I'm not going to argue with people that are broker than me about money. Kanye West, after spending the last two years bragging about how he's a billionaire and how he's richer than everybody, now finds himself in a position where he is no longer a billionaire and he's in a position where he's not richer than very many people at this point compared to when he was actually uh, a billionaire. So let's actually go over and talk about what in God's name has happened with Kanye West. So in order to fully paint this picture, we have to understand where Kanye West uh, wealth comes from. OK, so first off, Kanye had a net worth originally of about two billion dollars. And this mostly came because of the Adidas partnership that he signed about two years ago in 2020. Now, his net worth has officially plummeted about 80 percent. And Forbes is estimating that he now has a net worth of about four hundred million dollars because Adidas has finally terminated that partnership. Now, what's so interesting about Adidas is Adidas was one of the last companies that held out on canceling Kanye West. And one of the main reasons for that is because Adidas as a company has already been suffering because of macroeconomic factors and what's going on in China and things like that. And now it turns out that with Adidas canceling this deal with Kanye, they are set to lose two hundred and fifty million dollars that they could have had had they not just canceled their partnership with Kanye. But we understand what social and political and public pressure uh, can do to a company. It has a lot of power to make companies uh, make decisions that they do not want to make and make no mistake folks adidas took a very long time to make this decision because adidas did not want to make this decision they now found themselves in a position where they are forced to make this uh, decision now let me go ahead and actually talk about what's going on with kanye okay so kanye was originally estimated to be worth about two billion dollars uh he's lost about literally about 80 percent of that now has a net worth of 400 million dollars now that 400 million dollars that he still has comes from his real estate holdings cash his music catalog and a five percent stake that he has in his ex-wife uh kim kardashian's uh shapewear firm skims okay now what's more wes will not be able to profit from his yeezy designs and this is very key here and what's harming kanye's net worth so much is because yeezy's designs according to adidas uh, they are the sole owner of all of the design rights to the existing products as well as the previous and new colorways under the partnership. What does this mean? Well, even though Kanye had a mega billion dollar deal with Adidas, at the end of the day, Kanye did not own the designs. He signed the ownership over and Adidas owns the design. So we have no idea if Adidas is going to continue selling the Yeezy or the uh, Yay products or whatever it is that they're selling. We have no idea. All we know is that uh, Adidas is canceling the partnership. However, they still have the rights to the design. So if they want to repackage it, rebrand it, however they want to do it, they have the rights to do that. And that's what's so scary for Kanye's wealth. Now, Forbes estimates that West made about $220 million annually from his Yeezy partnership with Adidas. And West was essentially slated to work with Adidas through the year of 2026. Now, West music catalog, this is where we start to get into the breakdown of Kanye's wealth, right? So <clears throat> we understand He's got a small stake in Kim Kardashian's company, okay? He's got some real estate. But here's the other part of it, okay? So West Music Catalog, which we're including all his albums and all the stuff like that under his good music label, is estimated to have a worth of $90 million, which isn't that much when you compare it to all the other things that originally made up his net worth, like the labels and the, uh, you know, like the, the, shoe, the shoe stuff and all that stuff. Uh, he also makes anywhere from $30 to $50 million annually from touring. And then also, this was something that really caught my eye. Wes also has an estimated $122 million in cash and stocks, but mostly in stocks, which just goes to show you guys, most rich people do invest their money. These mega rich people, these people with these crazy high net worths, their money comes from one of two things. Either it comes from big business or it comes from investing. And Kanye seems to have both of those under his wing. And that's kind of where we're at with it. Now, in terms of Kanye's overall net worth or what he's going to do, I'm here to tell you guys right now, I'm not so sure 
that Kanye is going to be able to ever recover and get back to billionaire status again unless Adidas gives him his partnership back, which I just don't see happening unless he apologizes. I mean, let's just be honest here. It's really hard to become a billionaire. And most of the ways that people do it, even if you look at somebody like a Jay-Z, is through big business. And because almost all of Kanye's businesses have been taken away from him, especially his business opportunities. I just don't see how Kanye is ever going to get back to billionaire status. And what makes it so hard, folks, here's the key thing that you need to understand. Kanye, if he wanted to start over with the Yeezy deal and start going the apparel route and continue to do that on his own, it will be extremely hard for him to do that because the original designs that he made for those shoes are owned by Adidas. And we know God dang well that Adidas is not going to give those rights up. So what does that mean? If Kanye decides he wants to try and rebrand Yeezy, Yeezy under his own thing, whatever that ends up being, he probably will open himself up to a lawsuit from uh, Adidas because Adidas owns the rights and this is the crazy thing about big business if you are going to sign your rights away or sign with the big company then you have to play ball you cannot go the i'm going to say whatever i want and not worry about the consequences when you don't own your own crap his stuff his net worth his businesses his money is all controlled by a higher power and that higher power has policies and rules and regulations that people who work with them or partner with them have to abide by otherwise you end up in a situation where they cut ties with you and that's what's happening with Kanye so I just want to go ahead and talk about that real quick because I just thought that the story was extremely interesting given the fact that Kanye is no longer a billionaire and has lost 80% of all of his wealth and also want to give this as a teaching lesson to you guys that if you really want to be mega rich and make a lot of money well you've got to figure out a way to bring in a crazy ton of income Kanye was bringing in 220 million dollars annually in salary from his deal with uh, Adidas and that's really how it's done in terms of making money now you also, you can follow that part of Kanye being smart and partnering and all that, but don't follow the other part of Kanye where he goes out and he says things that uh, go against company guidelines and that most of the world deems to be uh, terrible, to be quite frank. And so, uh, yeah, there you guys have it. That will go ahead and conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.